Hey guys, Marcus Maintenance. Today's tour review is going to be a Milwaukee product, and this is a made in the USA Milwaukee product. These are some of their newer hand tools that they're now producing here in the United States. They make pliers, uh, other screwdrivers. I picked up the ECX number one and number two because one is I've never been a real big fan of Milwaukee screwdrivers. I'm not a big fan of the handles, but I thought I'd go ahead and try these out. And ECX is one of those things where there's not a lot of dedicated screwdriver brands out there that make them. I, you know, I have the Klein tools here. Here's the combination number two, 732 uh, with the four inch shaft. You have that combination bit there. Klein sells a, a pack of the ECX one or combination one and two for $18.99 on Amazon. Whereas these I had to pick up on Home Depot. Amazon doesn't carry these yet for $13 a piece. So 26 bucks for the set versus $19 for the Kleins. You know, over the course of this, I'm kind of swayed towards buying the Kleins, but I'll explain to you the features of this and kind of show you why you might would need an ECX in case you don't know. And then you can make the decision for yourself. But some of the features on this screwdriver, and I'm just going to show you on this ECX number two because they're exactly the same. The part number on the ECX one is MT215, and then the part number on the uh, number two is MT216. So you have the handle here, and it's got this uh, on the back side of it. I do like that, except for I went ahead and tried it with my knife just to, so I could tell you guys how it, how it was. I don't know if you can see. I started scratching on it and it does seem like it's going to come off fairly easy and it's not indented down in there. You know, the client at least, it's indented down in there a little bit. It's kind of set in there. That's going to last a little longer and then even if it's, it gets worn off, you can take something and kind of mark it and redo it. I would have liked to see Milwaukee uh, label this and then go over top of it maybe with something else to where that was actually in there because that's going to rub off. I believe fairly soon uh, and then you have the Milwaukee handle here this black is kind of grippy the red is just hard plastic and I mean it's not really even comfortable hard plastic I'm not a personal big fan again of their their handles it's not bad I would rather have the Klein handle or a Vera handle or a Vessel handle uh, it's not horrible but it's not my preferred handle and then it does say USA here even though all the pictures I've seen Every other reviewer I've seen, which I haven't seen anybody use the ECX screwdrivers. Maybe it's just the ECX screwdrivers, but the USA has been white on all the rest of them. And if I had not bought these on Home Depot, like if I'd have got them on eBay or something like that, I would have thought maybe somebody just sent me some and I didn't get the newer screwdrivers or something like that. And, you know, maybe I didn't. Uh, you guys let me know if these aren't the newest versions, but I'm pretty sure that they are. Uh, but mine's not white on either one of them. Uh, it's just it does say USA, but they're just red so they don't have any kind of markings on them like that uh, They do have markings here as well So I guess that's nice if you're going to put it up on a you know a magnetic wall board or inside of something like that although ECX 1 and ECX 2 are both identical as far as the markings. Maybe they should have put a little number Beside those somehow some way so you could tell the difference and then you have the four inch shaft It's eight inches eight and a quarter ish overall from the end of the handle to the tip and in that shaft you do have some knurling here about halfway through that is kind of nice the Klein does not have that option and then they also have laser tips on them I don't know if you can pick that up of course Klein's aren't that as well that's kind of similar to the Vera laser tips which I really really like so maybe that is a nice feature that would put it over the edge to make you pick this one over top of maybe the client or something like that but again i don't know that it's going to make a lot of difference on ecx because that's the purpose of this bit is that it fits in the the things that you're going to use it for exactly how you want to so uh, hopefully you're not going to have as much slippage as what you would with a phillips or a slotted or something like that so again there's not a lot of options for ecx so why would you need ecx bits or ecx screwdrivers or combination screwdrivers uh, pretty much if you're an electrician, I don't know of any other, any other place where you use these other than electrical components. Maybe I'm wrong. Let me know in the comments below. And there's other options than buying these screwdrivers. Uh, I bought a bit that goes in my Klein 11 and one that you can flip over and have the combination one and combination two. And then there's also ECX bits that you can buy of Milwaukee's that you can just put in drivers like this and then you can put that in any screwdriver you want to so that's an option where you could actually which a lot of times this is what I do I take this and put it in my vessel 
tang through and then I just use it like that as a screwdriver. But there are times where the girth of this bit holder and this holder here for your 11 and one, if you're working on some breakers, this has that combination two or ECX two. I don't know if I can get that to show up with it being black and dark, but that's that takes the ECX number two. And if I take a bit like this in that bit holder, I can't get in there to it because that bit holder ends up holding me out, putting me at an angle. So that doesn't work in that. Same thing with this extra holder on the 11 and one. It also holds me out versus I can take a dedicated screwdriver like the Milwaukee one here. And that gets me right in there to work in that breaker. It gets me at that right depth. So sometimes those will work, but then sometimes they won't. So you kind of need a dedicated set of these. So your breakers and things within the panel, a lot of times that's where your number two comes in. And then on your receptacles and switches and things like that, all your side post screws, and then also the screws where you screw it to the box, those are all combination or ECX number one bits. And basically that fits right in that screw. You can see you have a slot and then also an offset square number one on this case. And that just gives you the best amount of torque and grip and all those things that you can get on that. Even though technically you're supposed to be using a torque screwdriver nowadays, although again, I know nobody does, that kind of makes this kind of stuff obsolete unless you can put a bit inside of your torque screwdriver. But maybe you want to use this to get it everything snug like you want and then use your torque screwdriver, however you want to do it. But again, it's Milwaukee's made in the USA. I think I got the newest screwdriver. But again, with that not being white, I'm kind of guessing myself, but who knows? Maybe it's just the ECX ones. Uh, but you guys let me know in the comments below if I've got the right ones. Also, if you bought other screwdrivers of theirs, the newer ones that are the Phillips and the slotted, and you've got those laser tips, and you've got some Vera ones, comment down below if they seem like they're comparable in some way, uh, form, or fashion, or at how much you like them and all those things. Uh, again, the handle is... You know, not horrible, but it's not my favorite. Uh, you do also have a place, I guess, where you could tether if you wanted to run something through there or stick another screwdriver through there and get a little bit more leverage. I was also thinking their new screwdrivers all had hex on here where you could put a wrench on it as well. But again, it may just be because I got ECX. I haven't seen anybody with these. So it just might be these two screwdrivers don't have that. They also don't have the USA in white, all those things. But Hope it was useful in some ways. You guys let me know what you'd think about them, uh, especially if you've got them. Let me know what you think about the handles. Comment that down below, but I hope this is useful in some way. You guys stay safe. Have a blessed day, and I'll see you on the next video.